Hi! Welcome to uh, Kraken hello. Quest, where we don't have any technical difficulties ever. And if anyone tells you <laughs> otherwise, they're probably telling the truth. Um, I'm Redbeard. At least I think it's what it says on my tag. Um, I'm is. your dungeon master. Um, and I'm the master of this dungeon. Woo! And tonight Jiggy. I've got with me some... Um, Chattanooga bourbon whiskey and frozen pear. Wow. Awesome. I wasn't Tasty. looking at your video when you said that, and I thought you were calling Sam Chattanooga bourbon whiskey. <laughs> and with me tonight, as always, is Sam playing Chattanooga bourbon whiskey. Please stop the year. I want to get off. Catherine playing Nina. Um, I have Gatlin Burt wine. Ooh, sounds nice. Well, it's a Gatlinburg wine glass. The wine's not actually from Gatlinburg. Kat oh, well, Catherine bought awesome. like a. Catherine bought like one month of a wine subscription box, and they fucked up and sent her two. Oh yeah, bank error in your favor. Woo! Collect uh, fifty dollars. James playing El Fairy. I be drinking water because I'm unhealthy and need to do better. Yar. And a pixelated squid playing Zeodor. That's me! My life would be better if I were a pixelated squid. <laughs> an an off-center pixelated squid. Yeah. Well, All art, only, James? Only All I can best. see is James from the nose up, so... I'm trying to fix my camera. It's too zoomed in, I think. Oh, oh don't worry. Uh, to me, you are all in portrait mode. Uh, Sam is completely cut off. It's amazing. <laughs> there, I've now centered the pixelated squid. That's how most people wish I was. <laughs> um. Anyway, tonight's shit show aside, um, we're here to play some Dungeons and Dragons. How's that sound, everyone? Yay! Woo! Woo! Wild escapism. And the stream. I open guess, too. like. I don't have anything else to do tonight. I have my over-the-head headphones, and then I have a Bluetooth headphone in my left ear under the headphones, so I'm just all sorts of audio right now. I did that once while I was on a video call where the the one under the headphone was what I was using for the microphone, and then my uh, the other people on the call so they could hear my game audio, which I hadn't <laughs> really considered as uh, being a... Whoops. An issue there, but anyway. It reminds me of when I worked at Roll20 and eventually, like, I just played Hearthstone through all of my meetings. <laughs> yeah. 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 Funny thing about being a software automated testing is you don't really have to be part of all of the development meetings mentally. Anyway. Um, Send one of your robots. <laughs> so. Last time on um, Kraken Quest Zeitgeist Edition, our heroes had plunged the very depths of this mysterious temple that is... Oh, it did show up. Um, having solved the mystery of the rainbow bridges, they discovered a map room that hinted at future things that could occur on another location on the map. And I think that's about where we wrapped things up last time. Yeah, I think yep. so. Well, we... Yeah, map room. Um, yeah, map roomed it up. What were the two places that were marked on the map? Or do we have a picture of that or anything? So... There was like a... Where we are right now is marked and a spot slightly off the coast of Bear was marked. It was okay. probably another temple or something. Is our hypothesis. Yeah. We do have this picture that I mean, it doesn't really help you with showing where the other mark is, but if you want to put notes right. or whatever you could. Yeah, I'll do that. Put it. Uh... Um, otherwise, there is... There's another yeah, passageway. The, the, um, I'm gonna go look down that passageway. 
All right. Seems like a good uh, I actually want to collect this whole device. Is that map like a paper or is it on the ground? Um, it's etched into the ground from last week's description. And you want yeah, to I'm... collect the giant, like, 15 foot across brass device. It's hard to get scale from that thing, but we did say it was 15, <laughs> didn't we? Two people rode part of it up. <laughs> yeah, I never yeah, imagined okay. it being that big either, but I just went along with it when Zedor wanted to do things. Right. That's what it shows on the on the dungeon map. Yeah. Basically what I went with. Yeah, okay, never mind. Yeah, from from this picture it looks tiny. I'm like, yeah, let's just collect it, whatever. But that's me thinking that the bottom one is like five feet across at most. Yeah, I'd always imagined it like not looking at, comparing it to the map, I'd always imagined the like the top plate being like a foot across and the bottom one like maybe three feet across. But anyway. We've established as of last session, it is fifteen feet across on the bottom plate. It is gigantic um, and we can't keep it. And the map on the ground is um a large stone map on the floor. Ah, okay. And we definitely can't collect that anyways, so <laughs> anyone got some excavation tools? Maybe we could just take this whole room. No, I'm good. I have uh, another idea. Uh Mina, do you have the the locations marked down? I do. Okay, good. Uh, and Zeodor is going to cut the ropes with the plate still suspended in the air. That's one way to do it. And just drop the whole device crashing to the ground. Yep. Whole device comes crashing down to the ground. Um, Congratulations, the, you've destroyed a priceless artifact. Some of the... Um, the map seems undisturbed, but the... Um, like, the gears... Some of the gears yeah. and pulleys have popped out of place, um, and the the brass plates are maybe a little dinged up, but they're also a couple thousand years old. Uh, what? Well, whatever information this has, now we have it, and now whatever else comes along doesn't. All right. Eh, well, they're already dead. It's not that big of a deal. Koku is hopping around the uh, the wreckage confusedly. <laughs> Carter, right. um, oh. you gain a uh, use of arcane insight or insane insight. Excellent. Uh, Everyone well, else, don't worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. That's fine. It's probably nothing. Probably. Uh, Jack, yeah. as you go to inspect the passageway to the north, um, this also seems like a recent excavation. It looks like originally this room was a dead end, um, but someone recently has uh, dug this passageway into the uh, northern area from here. Sparkle, sparkle. Okay. Uh, you guys ready to move out? Yeah. Yep. All right. I'll take a step in the room. Is there, like, is there like a rock I can pick up and chuck in the room before I go in? Sure. Cool. I'll do that. All right. You want to give me a um. Rock chucking check. Um, actually, I guess this one doesn't even need a thing. Um, the walls of the room feature more mural carvings. Uh, no, nothing happens as you chuck the, the rock in. Okay. Um, the walls of the room feature more mural carvings that depict or uh, depict orc in elaborate headdresses performing a ritual beneath a sun and seven planets. Everything in the murals draws attention to a six-foot-high rectangular indentation on the west wall. 
Both the huge indentation and the smaller nooks on the walls sit empty, but dust within them suggests their contents were moved relatively recently. Another concentric ring icon sits on the floor in the center of the room. This one, on this one, the fourth ring is marked. Anybody know what the fourth planet is? Uh, I think we've identified that at this point, but I don't remember. Really? We have not. We've identified one, one, two, three, five, and six. One, two, three, four. I have one listed at four. Oh, what do you have listed at four? Urum? I have Urum um, listed at five. Oh, that's five. That's five. I can't count. Yeah, there Sorry. was some mix okay. up as well because the thing was wrong at one point and whatever. Yes. No, nope, you're correct. Uh, right. We have not identified fourth. Then I'll make what was it? Nature check for religion. it was religion. Okay, I'll right. Also the make thing the that I'm check. not super great at. Well, you know, one. Ten. Both failed. Uh, I would. I would like to make that religion check. Okay. And I would like to roll a 19 on the die. Woo! Um, I'm sure you would like to. And I do. Um, oh, okay. In that case, you know that the fourth planet is Mavisha. The plane of water. Mavisha. Um, I could tell you a bit about was, that uh, now that I know the name. Uh, in case that wasn't clear, I was using the inside. Ah, okay. Cool. I, I uh, can pick up on that. <laughs> yes, I realized that might not have been clear. Um, so the the two of you are, are looking it over and Zeodor looks and and just starts like muttering to himself and then says Mavisha. Ah, Mavisha, right. Queen of water. right. Yep, that's right. Home of Krakens lurking beneath the water, Leviathan swimming, rippling liquid columns that writhe above the sea like tentacles of a living world. Legend states that a drowned bridge long ago cursed sailors to join her in the lightless depths of the endless ocean influences seas, great movements of people, and conflicts within families. Yeah, in real that. life, Sam's actual nightmare. <laughs> I've never heard of Mavisha. It's probably fine. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, and there's a pillar in the middle? No. Oh, that's not a pillar? No, that's just a place where I left the number in place of putting down the brick. Uh, oh, right! I forgot uh, that you actually put the brick in here, not... Uh... I'm glad it looks good. <laughs> yeah, no, I, because in all the other places, it's been like a pillar in that location. Fair enough. Or around that location. Um, yeah, it was mostly with the fire traps. Where is that sigil? Is it just the whole room? Uh, in the middle of the room. Okay. Uh, all right. I pull out my water skin. And I advance carefully. Okay. I have a spell for this. I just don't know where to use it. Let's all go like, you know, here. Okay. Nothing seems to happen as you enter the room. All right. Where's that square indentation of things that have been removed? Um, on the let's see. Also, this increase your carvings. Everything on the mirrors draws attention to a six-foot-high rectangular indentation on the west wall. With the huge indentation and smaller nooks in the walls, sit empty. It does suggest that their contents were removed relatively recently. Hmm. How big are these nooks? Um, like maybe a foot or maybe less across. Okay. 
Well, so far so good. I'll keep going across. Okay. To nothing here. Happened. Yep. You make it across with nothing happening. All right. Is there a bend here? Uh, yeah. Let's get in my unhide area. Thank you. Uh, All right, go, go look I'd, around I'd like to examine the like the the hole of missing stuff. You said it was on the uh, yeah, that could be good. The left side. Uh, yeah. I'd like to examine it more closely. Okay. Give me, I guess, uh, um, investigation. Uh, seventeen. Okay. Um, the the dust here looks maybe a few weeks old, or maybe maybe about a week old. Um, like less than when Zambria returned to town. Um, looks like something had sat here. Something very large would have had to have been very heavy sat here um, for a very long time. This was moved recently. If it was Bergeron's men, they've been back. Yeah. Sounds about right. <sighs> okay. And whatever was here was big. So I don't think it was moving around on its own. How big was the uh, space it was in? Um, probably about... Uh, oh, six feet. So it's right six here. feet, okay. And you said it was squarish, not circular, right? Um, everything in the murals draws attention to the six-foot-high rectangular indentation on the west wall. Circles can fit inside rectangles. True, but... Given that this is a Dungeons & Dragons dungeon, I'm guessing that's not what happens. <laughs> Ah, you're right. Dragons fit in rectangles. <laughs> yeah, um, so lipids fit in circles. I think it actually is like a like a square space, and then you can tell from like the dust and cobwebs that are were attached, it was a circular object. Okay. Ah, okay. Well, well, scrap that then. Ah, this is where the the big plate must have been. You know, I bet it would make a good wall accent at home. Uh, Alright, let's stay cautious and keep going, I guess. Yeah, take a look down the next hallway. Yep. Alright. Uh, I will make a perception check as we go. Alright. Give me a perception check. 23. Okay. Um, nothing out of the ordinary here um let's see what's your your light distance again uh we have i believe 30 30 okay. for him and then i don't i don't really have light right now least. i thought the, the, the one was 2020 actually i'm gonna cast dark vision on myself screw this all right there we go put more of us in 60. Yeah. Like, I don't have a free hand to really hold a torch. So yeah, you can see at least that. Okay. okay. Yeah, and I was I was going up to, like, this corner and doing that check. Oh, okay. Then you can see a little further. Cool. Good. Let me see over there. And probably see this whole thing here.
I'd like to keep an eye out for ground circles. Okay. Particularly... Whoa, that's too bright. I don't know what that that's a is. 17? Oh, is that... I made a 60-foot radius for my vision. <laughs> ah. I, I want it to be more transparent. Floor again. Huh? Did you pee on the floor again? Uh, <laughs> um, here. Oh. Yeah, if I could if I could make it duller, I would, but I'm just gonna turn it off. Like that's not helpful. Yeah, I guess there are not options to adjust that. Well. I couldn't find an option to adjust transparency, just color. Okay. Well, I was a seventeen perception. Okay, you do not see any um, things on the ground in this area. Okay, oh, was that counting my perception from earlier? Yes, neither of you see okay. anything on the ground here. Cool. Uh, Zeodor is going to take this opportunity to uh, ask Jack and El Ferry, By the way, uh, Giddon, Giddon, is that a plane? It's what? Giddon? Something Giddon? like that? Mm, nope. Not that I'm aware of. I mean, maybe, but not one here. Not one of the main ones. No. Do you know anything about it? Uh, I think the the weird, like, partly there monsters, like the big toothy one and the the flappy ones, I think they're from Gibbon. You're saying Gideon, like Gideon without the E, right? Yeah, I think so. I wasn't given the spelling. Okay. Well, I just mean, your accent muddles a couple letters, so or a couple sounds, so I just wanted to make sure you were saying Gideon. My pronunciation has been Gidim. The spelling, proper spelling out of character is G-I-D-I-M. Oh, Gidim. Okay. Gidim! Gidim! <laughs> Just fixing and well, that kind of makes sense. Which one is get him again? It's not. It's not one. Oh. Okay. Uh, guess I'll just walk over. Like I'm kind of going from wall to wall and then checking. Okay, give so me. I'll go to this pillar. Dexterity saving throw. Oh god! Even with the twenty-six, I didn't see the trap. Jeez. Oh, I got a six, seven. Got right. Fire! Fire bursts out from the pillar as soon as you step uh, here. There's a glowing rune over here that you see now. Um, uh, where? Where's my dice? Oh shit! I'll be okay. I reduce fire damage by two. Cool, so you only take eight. Twenty-seven. Eight damage. Cool. Fire damage. Uh can I shoot a fireball at it? Or a sure. firebolt. Yeah, if he didn't do it, I was gonna throw a uh what's it called? Produce flame at it. So so, so fairy takes a step forward, is like looking down at the ground. And then, like, f flames just burst out from this uh, pillar. Um, Jack quick draws his pistol and fires it at the, the glowing rune across the way. And um, the fire subsides. You're welcome. Well, you, you know, thanks, I guess. Uh, I'm going to take another look. Are there any of the, the warning carvings in here? Um, I don't know what you mean by warning carvings. Uh, We've been getting those little, time. like, plane things. Oh, yeah, that's that's what this is. No, 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 not the, not the rune that spits flame. The little, because there were little carvings on the ground. The, the, uh, the flame came from here, but this, this right, is... Right, but not, the, yeah. not one of the, yeah, no, not, not one, one of the one circular plane carvings. Yeah, because that's, that's the, the last time we had Firetrap, there was a little... There was a little carving 
with the seven concentric rings and there yes. was a dot on the innermost ring. Yeah, that's what this is. <laughs> okay, but there's not one on the ground. Because on the yeah. other ones, there was one on the ground. That, this... No, there's, there's not one over here. I think it's I... in the same same relative place it's just only on this hallway and not on this hallway yeah i think they've always been on the wall correct, correct. okay okay but the flame came out of of that this time no, no. it came out of the pillar in the middle it came out of the pillar okay all right all right, all right. i got you I feel like why I would might they misdescribe something last time or I don't know. I think we're clear now. The cool. the sigils are always or sorry, the planar sigils are on the walls and the traps so, room I mean, is on the pillar. Yeah. I mean some of them have been on the some of the other ones have been on the floor, but this one's on the wall. Uh, like Why the, didn't they This one hmm? back here was on the on the ground. Oh, yeah, that's true. Why didn't they uh why didn't they warn from that side? That's weird. Maybe we don't get any warnings anymore. Give me a... Give me a... Insight check? 13. I also assume you step back away when the fire hit you. Uh, um, is this an insight check everyone can make? Uh, I'm, I'm just giving it to Elferi because he's the one who posed the question. Um, gotcha. The room number eight was a dead end until that passageway was carved. So that would make room number nine also a dead end. So that means that they would have only expected people to come from the other direction into the temple. Oh, okay. I, I missed that this was a carved passageway, that this was a newly carved passageway. Oh, yeah, sorry. All right. Uh, well, that's disabled, so let's go over here. Um, looks like Jack is heading like, uh, northeast. You know, just looking over here. Okay. Do you have a light source with you? Uh, yeah, I got a torch. He's got the ever burning torch that oh, we right, got right. from the entrance. The lantern. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At least um, down here. Um, and then El Ferry, you see. Down this hallway. If you want to give me more perception checks to look around, you can. Sure. Uh, that would be a twenty-two. All right. Um, you see. Another. Red rune there, and another orange rune here. Orange. I don't know if Il Fairy's actually seen the orange one yet. You have. That's Avalona. You were there. You were a monkey. Oh, okay. Yep. It looks like we got some kind of door down here. We got a orange sigil over here, although... Oh, it might connect to the other one we saw earlier. I don't know, space was acting a little weird when we were going through that corridor. Very we could fair. be in a totally different place. Well, you could go try it. You're the one with the wind magic. Uh, let's go check, up, check out the door up there first. Yeah, I agree. Right. I'm gonna go peek in. All right. Doody Giant snake. 
Um, yeah, a giant. You're snake so worried about the giant snake. It's you. like, it's not a real giant snake. It's a metaphor. All right. It's a metaphor for a giant octopus. <laughs> a giant eel. Are we talking like banana eel or like moray? <laughs> so what's the it's a moray. <laughs> moray eel. So what's All the right. purple? Um. Ooh. Iron poles jammed into primitive stone. A primitive stone mechanism hold open a secret door. On just uh on the floor, just inside the threshold, someone placed an iconic, uh, ironic rug woven with the word "welcome." A pair of dead bodies <laughs> lay just past it. The room beyond does not look like it uh, It should be long in a swamp. Dry gray stone, roughly cut apart by primitive tools, stretches away into the dark. Your light gleams faintly on something golden at the far end of the cave. As your eyes adjust, you spot five more bodies on the floor near the golden gleam. Two are human, three are tieflings. Their bodies have sprouted additional eyes, tentacles, and small vestigial oh. limbs. One of the bodies lies fallen across a circle of symbols drawn on the ground with an empty brazier nearby. The circle intersects the wall, and it would have formed a protective ward, but it looks damaged and broken. In the far corners of the room, two stone pillars are carved to look like coiled, feathered serpents. Between them, set in the far wall, is the source of the, of the reflection, a plate of gold that must weigh a ton. The plate is carved with... A scene of orcs, minotaurs, and goblins battling beneath a constellation of stars. So this uh, ceiling circle that's over here, does it look like it was ancient or new? Um, oh, the, the like, um, protective circle around it? Yeah. It looks ancient. Fuck, that's what I was afraid of. Okay. Uh, is is this box here? Is this something? Um, no, I don't know where that came from. Actually, okay. it must have been when I was messing around with something else. Um, I don't think we should go in there right now. I think we might have to if we want to seal off what's been causing things in here. At least getting things out. There's some precautions we can take first. Yeah. Come on. Uh, also, uh, one point. I'm pretty sure we found Bergeron's men. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that we, too. That's what I was just thinking. We found the experts. Uh, I'm going to start casting Detect Magic as a ritual. Okay. Yeah. From where I'm standing, can I, in looking at the containment circle, do I, does it look like something I could fix? Give me a Arcana check. While they're doing that, I'm going to peer around this corner just so we can fill out this map. Okay. Hey, Zeodor, when you get back, I want your help figuring this out. I'm right behind Zeodor, just in case. If we're going to split the party, might as well split the party. Yeah, 22. All right. Um, are you moving in to look at it? No, I was looking at it from back here. Mm. It's hard to make out the details from here because it's like a finely etched um like ritual with symbols okay. and stuff. But if you want to move in closer, you can keep that roll. I don't know if I want to go in yet though. Which part are you looking at specifically? The containment. Yeah, the containment circle. Okay. Yeah. All right, so it'll take me ten minutes because I can only cast as a ritual. But you know, yeah, we got time. All right. Anything else? Anyone else doing anything in those ten minutes? Uh, I'm gonna wrap a rope around myself. Okay. The instrument say if anything happens, yank you back, or I say it, yank me back. If I stop talking, yank, yank me back. You back. 
Don't go in there until I've checked it. I'm not. I'm just getting ready. Um. Also, use this rope. I have a... a Magic rope. Yeah. Rope of mending, that's what it's called. You know, in case he gets yanked and dies, I can still put the rope back together. <laughs> uh, I, Even if we lose Jack, at least we'll still have the rope. <laughs> uh, during Ilferi's ten minutes, I would like to investigate the rug. Okay. Oh, yeah. Make sure it's not, like, covering a pit trap or something like that. Okay. Uh, is that perception or investigate? Um, we'll call it investigate. Okay, then that's a 22. Alright. Um... So the rug seems normal. Um, it, it obviously it is of recent make, um, presumably left by the the dig team. Um, is there anything in particular you wanted to investigate about it? Um, I mean, I want to you know peer under it, make sure that it's not concealing something nasty. Okay. Um, you. Pull it back. Presumably, you're just standing in the hallway. Yeah, just stuff. standing in the hallway. And if everything seems normal, then I'm going to, from the hallway, try to pull it back. Okay. Um, you pull the rug back into the hallway with you and uh, realize that it is covering up a one of the ring icons with the outermost ring marked. Good to know. Number seven. Anyone know what number seven is? Uh, I cannot make this check while I'm... Nope. Can I make the check and still hold my 22 arcana for when I go look at the thing? Yeah, I'll do it. Sure? Okay. I probably got it too. Uh, I got a... Yeah, this is religion. 11. 17. Um, Mina, you remember from stories your father told you um, that the outermost planet of the solar system is Nem, a plane right. of ruin. Oh, lovely. It's Nem. Ah, is Nem the plane of ruin? I was hoping you were going to say anything about that. Yeah, no, it's, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't ruin. understand what it means by it's a myth among sky seers. Do I just not believe in that planet? I well, don't know, do it, you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that sentence means. Um, well, according to the next mean. sentence, it sheds no light and can only be seen as it glides silently through the heavens. So maybe because you can't necessarily see it. It's like how Pluto's not a planet. I, I, I'm thinking it sounds like hole. some sky seers uh, believe it exists and some sky seers don't. Yeah. So it's it doesn't, up to you. Do you it doesn't emit it light, but I guess you can see where it could cover up other celestial yeah. bodies. Right. Or kind of like how but, Pluto and Neptune switch places mm -hmm. sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. But it would be, you know, there could be other explanations for why. Uh, why other bodies periodically go dim. So, you know, it's up to you. Do you believe in them? Uh, at this point, Ilferi believes that it is a, like, celestial object, but not a planet. Cool. What's it associated with? Ruin. Ruin. Wonderful. Devouring stars and leaving nothing in its wake. That seems bad, but good news is we aren't stars. I think. I'm hey. not great at astronomy. Um, I don't know. A lot of people back in uh, Flint know our names because we keep doing cool stuff. Oh, yeah. Turns out it just kills popular things. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You'll ferry that dispel that detect magic done yet? Is my detect magic done? Sounds like a good enough time as any to 
say yes. I guess that other one was blue, and this is the purple one. And that, that other one looked more violet, and this one looked more pink. On my map, whatever. Pink. Uh, okay. But yes, detect magic. Ding. There is magic. Um, let's see. Um. Ding, magic's done. Ding, it looks like there was done. magic. Um, something with the the ritual circle in there. There was something that was dispelled. Um. There seems to be some uh spells connected to the um the seal in the floor but um it's like way more complex than anything you've seen before but the magic is still there or it's gone yeah there is there is latent magic on the the seal there on the ground okay but just on the seal um this uh the icon, the um, whatever you call it, this thing, the planetary alignment chart. Yes. So there's so that's magic the only thing coming magic. off of the big golden thing. Um. Yeah, there does seem to be something. Hold on, that's too far. It's not. I only have thirty feet. Okay. Oh, All my right. bad. So, if we throw the carpet over this, can we just walk over it? Is that why it's there? Uh, maybe? I don't know. It's worth a shot. I can't see it. the back of the room. It also uh, might be there to hide it so that anyone coming along would get caught by it. Let me cast one more spell that uh, won't... It's not going to break uh, my detect magic. It's not a concentration spell. I'm going to cast detect trap... Or, sorry, find traps. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I sense the presence of any trap within range that is within line of sight. A trap for this purpose, uh, for the purpose of this spell, is including anything that would inflict sudden or unexpected effect that I consider harmful or undesirable, which was specifically intended as such by its creator. That's this counts, specific. This counts alarm spells. But also and really warning, vague. But it is. It. I, there's descriptions here. It includes stuff like the alarm spell, which would go off and alert people I wouldn't want, and glyphs of warning, and mechanical pit traps, but it won't show, like, unstable ceilings, and stuff that, like, will harm me because of deterioration. Okay. Um, it reveals that the trap is present. I don't learn the location of the trap, but I do learn the general nature of the danger posed, and it hmm. is anything in line of sight within 120 feet of me. Okay. Um. Yes. <laughs> and what is the danger posed by each trap? Um. Let's see. Within a two hundred twenty feet. Yeah. Line of sight still. So. Um. From there, I'm not sure if you can see the fire trap or not. So. If if you take a step back, maybe fire. Um, oh, this is also instantaneous effect. It's not an aura or anything. Okay, sure. Um, there's some poking. Okay, poking. Um, there's... Some... Complete obliteration. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know how to word this. Um, Discorporation. I feel like I feel like you just get a general sense that there's like an like it. It's overloading your senses. Let's put it that <laughs> I way. I have a sense of dread. <laughs> there's there's so much when you cast the spell that you start to feel that you can't even single things out. Like, this this whole ziggurat is pretty much made of traps, is what you get the feeling. Oh, crap. I thought I was far enough in the room that I would only get the room and not everything around the ziggurat. 
That's 120 feet, though. But it's only line of sight. I know, but even yeah. so, yeah. All right, I'm going in. Uh, I uh, dread, absolute terror. Yeah. Uh, you will die. Probably. Hang on. Uh, did you say? Did you say? If if I did you say some kind of stabbing trap? Yes, there is a stabbing trap as well. I'd like to look at the walls for seams in the wall like we found in the first hallway that had okay. the alcove with the mummies. Give me a... Um, I think we did an investigation for that. Yeah. Uh, that is a 19. Alright, you find... Yeah, A couple of those. Okay. And upon okay. opening them, it's the same situation. There's a mummy inside with a spear poised to stab out of small holes. What triggers them? Because we haven't triggered them. I'm just confused. They seem highly ineffectual. I think they might be deactivated by time. Zeodor says and pokes one of the mummies just square in the forehead. I guess. It does not react. Do not have to fight a mummy army. Have fun. <laughs> you drive uh, dick butt on his head. He chases you for the rest of his life. <laughs> I, I feel like this one's name is Brendan Fraser. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Okay. Uh. Okay. I'm fine with Jack going in. <laughs> we can't dally forever, and unless you have something in mind to fix everything magically, we're going to have to investigate this room. I have one thing, but I don't want to... I have to spell magic, but I don't want to dispel right. the circle in there that right. seems to be protective, but maybe that's the trap? I think that the thing that was protective has been fucked with, and it's not being protective anymore. Yeah, that's my thought. If I can get in there and see, maybe I can fix the seal and stop whatever's going on. I mean, I know he doesn't look like it, but he is a wizard. Maybe, uh... maybe Jack should take the staff with him. Yeah. Maybe the amulet. I don't see how the staff would help. I think the staff can uh, uh, can solidify the the weird given things. Oh, right. Huh? It has it before. No, but when I touched the white stone, I got a weird vision. Oh yeah. By the way, I got a weird vision when I touched the white yes. stone. <laughs> Are you? Serious? You waited that. till now to tell us? That was like 20 minutes ago, dude! There was a lot going on. What happened? Some, something in here is trying to kill us. Alright, uh, yeah. It's trying to keep information, you know, hush. Zeodor, not to be mean, but also, duh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, anyway... I, I, I saw a vision of uh, three orcs, and they had the... Yeah, and I pointed at the three artifacts. Yeah. Um, oh. And uh, they were trying to fight off the weird trans, uh, translucent monster things. The one with the staff made one of them... Uh, forced one of them to turn solid, and then the one with the sword cut it in half. Okay. So that's it'll Again, take an hour that's to super it. helpful. Twenty minutes ago, dude. Is it, uh, Carter, do you remember specifically what they had said? Uh, yes, he said, okay. "Think at that one, so that I can, so that I can kill it." All right. Okay. Uh, it'll take an hour to attune to it. I can go in with him, I guess. If the staff is important. I don't know. It might be. Uh, well, we, but... Okay. 
There were orcs in the vision. There are orcs on the card thing. I I feel like we're in the right place. Let's send Jack in first. And if any of those things pop into existence, then Ill Fairy can use the thing to make them solid. Oh, actually, hold on, hold on. I can make sure that they don't pop in. That too. I'll just cast Forbiddance from the staff. Okay. Uh, it's gonna take uh ten minutes. That's fine. Okay. Uh, and it will cover uh seven point five seven five seven five seven five say repeating miles. So Jesus. Centered here. Right. Up to 40,000 square feet of floor space. Holy shit. And a height up to 30 feet above the floor. Sweet. That's probably most of the ziggurat. I don't know why they converted it from square feet to miles in the casting range area. Um, it didn't on mine. Mine? Looking at the spell description on my character sheet, it converted it to miles. Oh, okay. In, in the description of the spell, it says 40,000, but in the, like, range area, yeah, it on, says Yeah, on touch. Beyond, it just says touch 40,000 square feet on, like, the compendium. Yeah. It must be because it's in the sidebar on my character sheet. Um, We never determined what these things are, though, have we? No. Because uh, I can have it damage a certain creature type, but it's Celestials, Elemental, Fey, Fiends, and Undead. Uh, they are monsters from Gidim, and they came by way of Apex. Oh, yeah, the, oh. the orc with the staff mentioned that they were from Gidim, and that they had the dust of Apex on them. Also, the orcs were speaking ancient, and maybe I do now. I'm very confused. There's a lot going on. Zeodor, <laughs> these are all notes I could have been taking while he was casting that weird ass spell. Now I gotta cram it into this time when he's casting the next weird ass spell. <laughs> Jack is just enjoying the chaos and what might be his last cigarette. <laughs> All right. Jack's had a lot of maybe last cigarettes, not because he's trying to quit, but just because he might die. <laughs> you look down at your pack and realize that actually was your last cigarette. Damn. <laughs> well, now's a good time to quit. Um, Think of all, all the right. stamina you might get. When your lungs aren't just, you know, <laughs> collapsing on themselves. And his his uh, constitution raises by like 10. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the half corporeal monsters are from where? Get him. Get him. Get him. But I, I have no idea what get him is or where it is. And then you said they came by way of Apet? They had the dust of Apet on them. I think so. Yeah. Uh, the staff wielder seemed to think so. The guy with the sword did, did not seem concerned about that. Just wanted to cut them in half. Told the staff wielder to think at them. Think at them. All right. That's the that's the best I got. I don't know. Um, Maybe it sounds better in ancient. All right, try. Uh, can can I say? Can I say the words think at them in ancient? Sure. I I do that. Does it sound better or worse? It sounds indecipherable. Cool. I don't know. Did that sound better? Uh, no. It sounded weirder. Oh, okay. I'll take weirder. It's Those aren't maybe. words. Do, do any of you speak orcish? Uh, I think I might. No. I do. Uh, oh, okay, well that doesn't that? help Zeodor. Beyond. <laughs> Hang on, I'm trying to figure out where it says it. Uh, yes, I speak orc. So w- when when um, Zeodor says that phrase, it it sounds 
like some of the words are kind of similar to orc, but like you you wouldn't really recognize it. It's like hearing German or Dutch as an English speaker. Right. It sounds like or, something modern Orcish might have come from or intertwined with at yeah, some point. Or like French as a Spanish speaker. <laughs> yeah. There are a lot of things that overlap, but not enough to actually speak to each other. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, which would make sense. The ancients were orcs, so that would make sense. Oh. Um, Elferi. Also, we knew that the ancients were orcs. So you're you're concentrating on this this spell. Uh huh. Um, but as you're you're doing so, I presume you're kind of looking off into the room. Yeah, I'm I'm looking off in the room with detect magic and yeah. then casting you, the spell. You realize as you stare um into the room, um I I I feel you've come to the you've probably come to the conclusion that this is the the seal, right? Yes. Yeah. As you stare at it, you start to realize that that seal is not sealing anything. And you can feel the energy of Apet coming from that room. I realize that seal's not sealing anything. And then you start to have a vision. Ooh. Uh, does it feel like a normal vision to me, or is this like a special vision? It feels like one of your Skyseer visions. Okay. The planet Bonus Apet, vision again. The planet okay. Apet drifts through the stars. You see it closer than ever. An orb of swirling gray clouds. Around it, the silvery ring of the plane Rada. When skyseers peer into the heavens, they believe this ring shows the past and the future. But the ring is incomplete. An arc has been snapped out of the circle. Your own reflection on its surface stands mere feet from the end of time. You step into your reflection, stand upon the edge of the ring. Cracked shards of icy silver crunch under your feet. You look down and see the endless dust storms of Apet. You look out and see the heavens wheeling about you. And when you look forward, thousands of miles away, you can see the other end of the snapped ring. If you looked hard enough, you could see the dawn of history. I got a pretty high perception. Can I try? <laughs> the, vi- <laughs> the vision snaps to a close as as you have that thought. Shit. Uh, can you post that in roll twenty? Just I tried to write it, but I can't write as fast as typing or talking. Sure. And then your forbidden spell finishes. And now you you don't sense that um, leaking apet energy any longer. Zedor's like waving his hand in front of the fairy. Hey, uh, where'd you uh, go? Uh, I was casting a spell. And then I had a vision, which is a little odd, but you it have visions felt... all the time. Huh? You have it... visions all the time. Isn't this it's normal? A little <laughs> odd in Should this be by now. circumstance. Okay. I mean, uh... I had a vision, and that was weird, but I've never had one before. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it felt normal, it's just I haven't been looking at the stars yet. Anyways, uh, it has to do with Apet and Rada, which I've never heard of before. But apparently it shows the past and the future, and it's broken. Uh, I'm going to try and, like, this spell that I just cast lasts a full 24 hours, so right. I'm going to like write down my vision as best I can before doing anything else. 
Okay. Uh, while Ilfairy is doing that, since we have the Forbidden Spell in play in place, Zeodor is going to like very tentatively, like toe across the line. Okay. To see if anything reacts before fully committing to going in. Okay. Nothing seems to happen. Okay. Slide all the, the way across the line. line. Take a step in and use that 22 Arcana to look at the seal. All right. <laughs> Nothing happens as you guys enter the room. Um, as Jack gets closer, he starts to appear at the um, at the ring. Um, you realize that there are actually two rituals intertwined. Or there were. The first was a warding circle meant to hold back creatures. The second was intended to suppress a powerful abjuration magic. Sorry, can you say that thing again? Let me step on the keyboard and I had to do something. <laughs> the first... Uh, sorry, I don't know what you didn't hear, but... Uh, the yeah. ritual around the golden seal, um, there are two rituals that were in place. The first was a warding circle meant to hold back creatures. The second was intended to suppress a powerful abjuration magic. Okay. So now that I'm here looking at it, does it look like this circle was put here to keep magic in the seal or keep things from messing with the seal? Is that not the... Thing that I just said. Yes. He wants to know if it was keeping things out or keeping things in. It, I. Yes, that was what I just said. Is that it's doing both? Okay. Did I did I not make it clear? I, guess I wasn't not. clear on that either. No. Okay. <laughs> Examining the ritual around the golden seal, which is. Markings on yeah. the ground. You realize that there are two that there were two rituals. The first was a warding circle meant to hold back creatures. The right. second was intended to suppress a powerful abjuration magic. Yeah, the abjuration yeah. magic didn't That that doesn't We didn't know if that meant we can't cross it or if it's Yeah, it yeah. doesn't imply where it's coming from, so it could still be in Sorry. Or uh, suppress as in keep in. Side the okay. circle. Well, but it's suppressing abjuration magic, right? Which is protective like in nature generally. Yeah. Yeah. Well, abjuration so is like shutting a down. Ward? There are other yeah. things that abjuration does. Yeah. It can shut down, it can banish. There are other things that abjuration does. Yeah, I know. I'm thinking. Ending ending effects. Yeah. Yeah, is counter like, spell still abjuration? Yes. Yes. And dispel magic too. Oh no. Yes, yes, dispel magic is. Uh trying to think. I don't think get, no gate is conjuration. Yeah. Yeah, I think teleportation is always conjuration. Then that might be a typo. Yeah, because abjuration is about sending things back to where they came from. Among other things. Yeah, conjuration, I think, makes more sense here. So, I don't know if that's a typo or if I'm misinterpreting it might be a uh, purposes. Or it might be a 4E thing that didn't get changed. Switch yeah. over. Teleportation magic changes schools fairly Often. frequently. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, regardless, does it look like I could fix the seal? No. Okay. This looks and you said well beyond that I realized the seal wasn't doing anything at this point, right? Like, not that it well, was broken, but like there was nothing for it to keep in anymore. You, you felt it, or, or sorry, you felt the the that the seal was not acting as a seal you presume would. It was not blocking anything. Uh huh. Um, 
but then upon completing your spell, you, it, you know, you couldn't detect anything because of the spell. Right. Okay. Okay, so... So I felt that it just wasn't working properly. Right. Because it's broken, which makes Guys, sense. Guys, how exactly did they get the golden seal in here? The what do you mean? This golden... Okay, is golden seal the thing on the floor or the thing on the wall? Thing on the wall. Thing on the wall. Okay. The thing that weighs a ton? Yeah. Yeah. Work crew. So, no. So this one had to have been here. Is there a second one? Because didn't they take it out of town two weeks ago? They took something. Whatever was in the other room. That's what I'm saying. So there's two of these? Is this, one a, is this one a big circle? Yes. Okay. About six feet across. Like a dinner table. Like yeah, they about the size of a dinner here. table. Yeah. Um, Maybe it was on display in that other place and it was brought here back in ancient... No, it was no. moved here recently. Two weeks ago, monster hunters came through town, left with a large circular object wrapped in cloth, strapped to a horse, about as big as a dinner table. Uh, maybe there is two. That's what or I'm saying. Like, maybe one is fake. I mean, that's possible too, but there's a space for like this sort of thing in the other room, yes? Yeah, you look about this size. Right. So, are they connected in some way, shape, or form? Um, I would guess that either it came from there or it's meant to go to there. Alright. Real quick. Uh, is there dust on this thingy? Yeah. Is this still. Is this dusty or does it look like it's been moved here recently? The um, golden seal? The big golden yeah. one, yeah. Uh, give me a perception check. Or investigation. Okay. Either would work. Uh, I like using my bird eyes. 21? 24. Um, eight, 19. Nope, sorry, 17. Um, all three of you can tell that this um, was recently moved. A. Okay. Um, Elferi, you can tell that there's no magic actually coming from the seal at all. Because you have your detect magic on. And... Um, I think someone had a 24. I had the 24. Um, you also notice some cracks in the gold. And you'd like... I don't know if you, if you would reach in and touch it, but... Um, you can tell that there's just a thin layer of gold around just stone. It's a fucking fake. Fucking fake. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll like, kind of brush at it. Some gold flakes off. Uh, I'd like to examine the bodies. Of, yeah, that was my next line. The people oh, that man. we assume are Bergeron's experts. Yeah. yeah. I'll, okay. I'll roll the tieflings. I got I'll roll one. the tieflings. I'm familiar with their anatomy. Okay. Kinky. Um, I got 12. No, at least when it's on fire. <laughs> well, they got weird eyes and appendages coming out of everywhere. Right. Yeah, I don't know if anatomy's gonna do much, but I'm hoping to find some evidence that maybe they were experts in something like, say, stone carving. Uh, we're rolling investigation here. Okay. Right? Sure. Um, uh, 24. Okay. Um, uh, they seem to have some cuts and lacerations that seem in line with what you've seen from some of the beasts you've encountered up to this point. Um, the, or, sorry, the two, two by the door, um, seem to be that way, which are the, um, sorry, looking back. Uh, five bodies. Two are human. The two human bodies seem to have um, lacer cuts and lacerations. The other three, the tieflings, um, 
seem similar to what you saw out in the campsite. Um, there's uh, no physical distress other than some bulges under the skin. Like and tumors? You can tell that, yeah, like tumors. And you can tell that their possessions have been searched over and depleted. Alright, someone's already been here. Yeah. Um, Someone that can give things cancer. Oh, fairy, give me a religion check. Okay, I'm not great at those, but I'll give it a shot. Five. Okay, cool. Religion is a thing that exists. <laughs> Can I look at the um, the representations of the feathered serpents? Yes. That's where I was going next as well. Right. <laughs> um, we've got perception or arcana as um, good checks to make there. Ooh, I'll do arcana. I'll, do I'll probably also do arcana. I failed. Yeah, my arcana is way higher than my investigation. You know, cops. Can we do both? Sure. I don't know if there's two different sets of information being gathered. Okay. Uh, Well, doing both, I got an 18 arcana and a 22 perception. I got a 15 arcana and a 12 perception. 16 arcana. I got a rock. (laughs) Um, Zeodor... Um, you notice that the eyes of the serpent seem to follow you, uh, whoever is closest to the seal. So right now they're, like, staring at Ilfairy, but, like, earlier Jack ha- happened to be the closest one, and they were looking at him. Um, and right now they're just, like, fixated on Ilfairy. Uh, these statues are, uh, maybe alive? Also, in theory, they're looking at you. Why are they looking at me? I think. Why are you looking at me? I think it's because you're the closest to the seal. The fake seal? Yeah. Well, we assume it's fake, but yes. Snakes. Why? Why are you looking at me? Why are you concerned about this fake? <laughs> I 100% thought you were going to pull an Indiana Jones right there. In what way? I don't know. The snakes. way you said snakes, I thought you said we were going to say snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Oh. <laughs> if, no, if Fairy doesn't care about snakes. If we send them to Apet, then we can get these motherfucking snakes off this motherfucking plane. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Are they you're made of stone, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. What are their eyes made of? Also stone? Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm going to poke oh. it in the eye. Rude. Oh shit. Okay. It seems odd that they would have just statues pointing at whatever's closest to that seal. Well, they have nothing to protect right now because this is a fake. Wait, Ilfairy, aren't you uh, detecting magic right now? Yeah. Are these statues not magical? Are they not magical? They are. Oh, yeah, no, they're magic. What kind of magic? What's um, cool, I mean? it says some sort of defensive magic, so I'd guess abjuration. Hmm. Ah, they're abjurative in nature. They're protecting things. Ah, which makes sense. some sort of trap, then. Oh, it could be the alarm spell, too. Right. Yeah. Could be. Um, uh... Yeah. Yes. You're closest to the door, right? I believe I am. Fuck. You hear a faint <laughs> trickling sound coming from the door. I... Some dark fluid is slowly pouring into the room. Shit. Just an inch deep right now, but swelling to ankle deep at an alarming speed. As the fluid crosses the threshold... Oh, well, actually, you guys already revealed the rug, so that doesn't happen. Um, <laughs> at the same time, the corpses on the ground twitch, open their eyes... Oh, no, 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 no. You all. Roll initiative. Run! Uh... Get the fuck out! I mean, I would yeah, say get don't the fuck out, but... Of use in yeah. here. GTFO! I'm 
I'm waiting on the DM to tell us we can. Yeah. I'm waiting All for right. the DM to tell us that the door closes behind us and we're fucked. Um, let's just do some initiative. Yeah. Yes, we've Yeah, that's what I thought. F. Yeah. Uh, I need something to. Our initiative disappeared off the tracker. Yep. Oh, sorry. I had cleared it away to remove the old ones and then I forgot to add you guys back on. And now, whenever I click on one of you, it's. Oh, I'm on the wrong layer. Ah. Ah. Uh, add. 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 All right. You really only need to add Zeodor or Mina. Like, they're going <laughs> to be right there. <laughs> Actually, the streak might be broken because they beat me and Jack. What can she do? Oh my god, oh my god. 14. Well, she rolled a 12. I did roll a 12. Alright, well, we're still next to each other. That's the important. So, I'm going to do some sort of presentation. If one of these zombies rolls a 13 and we kill that one first. Yep. Deal. Is that a bit? No, then, because it'll come between us. Oh, right, right. <laughs> ah, fuck. When you said dark fluid, I was like, ah, fuck, that room that we didn't that we didn't find the trap in. That's absolutely, yeah. Yeah, yep, yep. No big deal. Just water slowly pouring out. It's just yeah, water. Yeah, the water plane room... But also, that was our way out. Uh, yeah. Our other two ways out fucking suck. Yeah. Uh, let's add a round counter with a plus one. Great. And then this ziggurat we'll... is sinking into the swamp. Oh fuck! I kind of hope so, actually. And like, then... I knew starting this week that, like, this cigarette was not going to still be here. I was expecting collapse, though, not sinking. Yeah. Okay. So right now, the water is just a few inches where you are, so that's fine. No difficult <laughs> terrain or anything. Says you. Um, We didn't even steal the treasure, though. It shouldn't be collapsing. To be fair, the treasure has been merit. stolen, just not by us. They just it just didn't realize it till we mentioned it. It was because Check. you said it was fake. <laughs> Checking for treasure, treasure not found, abort. Alright. Um So you guys got your initiatives on there. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put a uh, Oh, did I put the zombies on the wrong way here? Is that the wrong here? No. Also, y'all were wondering how the mummy traps got triggered. I have a, I have a theory. <laughs> Is it? it could be demons. It could be right now. I got a theory. It doesn't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It could be right now with all the other zombies. Oh fuck! Why is the? Oh man! I guess I was examining the bodies. I suppose Sorry. that's fair. Fuck. I had them on the wrong layer. I had I had actually put those there like five minutes ago, or not five minutes ago, but quite a while ago. And. It's a demon. Dancing. Oh, I'm still on the wrong layer. There we go. Almost have intended to like a Broadway nightmare. Okay. Oh fuck, we let them out. So we just left the door open, had... didn't we? Yeah, we did. A totally did. Yeah. Fine. And a zombie turn. Oh, and we'll so we're to run back out the way we came across the light bridges, right? Yeah, totally. Let's do that. And if we can get there, but yeah. Yeah, hopefully. So they're gonna go here, and these are gonna go here. Okay. So sort. Well, there weren't a thir There wasn't a thirteen. Oh wow! It's not expecting fifteen to be first. <laughs> yeah, there's zombies. Um, all right. So, we're starting out with a couple of the 
mobbies. Um, I think they're just gonna start shambling towards you guys. <laughs> there. Menacing no, one, no one else can see me that but can see that but me, Carter, and it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, Mina. Okay. Are we running? Yeah. Yeah. The fuck out? GT oh. I'm going to go five. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and then shoot at this one right here. That's three attacks of opportunity. What is going on? But I'm running. Ah! Roll 20, what are you doing? That three gets away for free! <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, go ahead and make your... Or, I guess we'll do the attack first. From which ones? So I was standing in front of this guy, this and, guy then and then both of the both zombies. The okay. Mummies, whatever. So the zombie is gonna slam. Welcome to the jam. <laughs> um, that's a 12 to hit. Misses. And then the first mummy is gonna stab at you with a spear. Uh -huh. um, he rolled. And 13 to hit. Misses. And the second one <laughs> rolled an 8 to hit. Hell yeah. They really suck, guys! Run! Um, so I'll miss with the first one. I'll definitely hit with the second. Uh, so 27 to hit. 27 will hit. Yep. And that's... 9 points of piercing damage to the one that's, like, just barely making it way into the room. Right. And then I will take my last shot at it again. And that's a 19 to hit. Okay, that is a hit. And that's 12 points of piercing damage. And all of this is magic ammo too. Ever since I entered the ziggurat and it failed that first time, I have had nothing but magic bullets. The fair assessment. Things. Yeah. That is my turn. All right. Zidora. Okay. Uh, Zidora is going to grab Koku, hold on tight, and is going to kind of shift her onto his back. Uh, she's going to use her her lower grasper leg wings to kind of like snap into his armor. Nice. Um, and then her upper wings are basically going to like flap away. Attacks of opportunity. Uh, as I go, bonus action disengage, and then now I'm going to show the the thing that Chris was laughing at, uh, and then do this <laughs> <laughs> and leave. So you'll take the one attack of opportunity. I'm right? sorry. I believe I said bonus action disengage. He did indeed. Yeah, yeah. For the first. Up to this point, and then from this point, you're moving normally, right? No, no disengage is disengage all of your movement do doesn't not... provoke. Sorry, I can't yeah, understand two of you talking at once. Bonus action to disengage means I do not take attacks of opportunity this round, and then I move there, and then I use my action to move to oh, take it down. Oh, okay. I guess move. I didn't realize how that worked. Yeah, because disengage. I thought the okay. I thought the bonus action disengage was a movement. No, but yeah. it just means no op attacks. Cool. There yeah, that's why I can bonus action to disengage or bonus action to dash. Yeah, that's I, I'd always been confused by that. So now that makes sense. <laughs> Alright, um, these zombies. They might be zombies. Um, there's one too many. Uh, oh, good. Um, I was wondering about that, but I figured if I asked about it, more would come, so I just didn't. 
Um, all right, one next to Jack is gonna attack it. Um, it's a natural one. Woo! It falls apart. This one shambles up, takes a swing at you. Um, that is a fourteen to hit. Miss. All right. Fucking bring uh, out the shield, bash it. Nice. Shamble up. Still fairy. Um, that's uh, twelve to hit. Nope. Uh, that's another natural one. Wow, I'm not rolling well tonight. These guys don't even have a bad to hit. It's just <laughs> right. they do tonight. This one's it's gonna up for room six is what's happening. Yeah. yeah, this one's gonna stand at the ready. Um. To attack anything that comes by. I never specified a creature type for that spell, but I pro I definitely wouldn't have picked undead. <laughs> El fairy. Um. Oh God. Um. You can get out with pretty minimal attacks. Yeah, but you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can make I'm going to take my action, I'm going to turn into a horse, and as part of that, can I have my saddle be, like, equipped to me? Sure. We had talked about it before. I know, like... it just seems dumb, but I'll allow it. <laughs> it, it, it right. is worth noting really, the dumb part is that you're always carrying around a saddle. <laughs> a military hey, man, saddle at that. Don't kink shame ill fairy. Uh, I am prepared. Everyone can disengage. It just takes y'all an action. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so I'm I'm gonna take my action and turn into a giant horse. So that Jack can hop on. Okay. Uh and then I don't have a bonus action right now, so I'm done. Oh, actually, hold on. I think I do. No, I use my Sky Seer's Blessing. Never mind. Yep, I'm done. All right. Cool. I'm just going to run out of here. Really? Well, what's the point of me hopping on you when I can get out this turn? Because I, I have double speed. Okay, whatever. Yeah, but then you'll catch up to me. I should have coordinated that because I can't get out of this room as a horse anymore. Whatever. I mean, I, I just don't I don't see a point in It's fine. Like you uh, I didn't I didn't explain what was going on, so I I'll just have to, to figure it out. I I can't get out of the room without your help. And I thought me being a horse would make it easier for you to get out too. Well, what do you need me to do to get you out of the room? Knock those guys out of the hallway with Thunderwave. But it that doesn't work really either. Yeah. Never mind. This was a stupid idea and I shouldn't have done it. Whatever. I'll deal with it. One. You can get out to the hallway without taking two, an attack of opportunity three. if you disengage. I cannot. I am too large. Oh no, yeah, you can't. can't Jack move. can. Yeah. Right. I'll disengage. Run out here. So yes. Yeah, One, two, three, four, five, six. If you went the other way, you could go five, six, and just be two in front of me. How? Okay. One, two, two three, three four, four, five. That's a wall. That's a wall. Can you not squeeze through there? Mm, I'm going to say no. Okay. Five, Never mind. Six. That's all I can do. That was just your, uh, that was your action. I yeah. disengaged. Yeah. Okay. Um, cool. Then uh, start the next round. Nope, don't like it. Okay. So this. Should we save that? You gave one of those mummies their sword back, didn't you? No, I still have it. 
Okay, cool. Yeah, we discussed it, but we didn't actually do it. <laughs> you wouldn't give up your stuff, and it seemed dumb to only do halfway, so, you know. Okay, yep. Shit. Uh, so, the water is pouring out of there. You can see the darker green is the the darkest here let me move this map over so the darkest green is um gonna be the deepest knee deep okay the middle is ankle deep and the light is inches The knee deep so, is difficult terrain. That was my question. Okay. Uh, James, how long does Ilfairy's dark vision last? It lasts like some number of hours. Eight hours. Right? Eight hours. Okay, good. So we can we can all we all have some way to see because three yeah. of us have dark vision currently, and one of us has a lantern. Yep, a lantern that won't go out in water. All right, um, the mummies. Um, Here they come. Shit. This one's got to take a stab at Jack. Um, that's a 17 to hit. Miss. Okay. This one's going to shamble up. Oh, that Stuck zombie right. should have attacked you, but oh well, I forgot. Hmm? He disengaged. Uh, it wasn't a... Opportunity attack. It was a prepared action. Oh yeah, I, uh, I forgot about that too. But whatever, I forgot. Um, there we go. Twenty-four to hit. Oof. Uh, shield. Okay. How many you got left? That's my last one. Well, I actually could do it two more times. But yeah, at second level. Yeah. All right. Um, Mina. All right. Um, which way are we going? Uh, fastest way out, straight down this way. So, is that does that connect? Oh fuck, that's right. Yeah, it don't connect. Well, we so, don't know if it does. Guess we're right. going for a swim. We haven't looked. Which way were you saying? But if it connects down here. Mm. Uh, and I thought that was a dead end when we came the other way. No, Otherwise, it wasn't a dead end. That was just as far as we could see down the hallway because we didn't go past. The, okay. uh, you guys haven't walked all the way around that corner yet. Yeah. The only reason I, the only reason I've said that it doesn't connect, it's because of the the hallway we came through, like yeah. over here with the rainbow bridge thing. Okay, fuck it. Um, I'm headed for the water. So you guys head that way too. Yeah. Like, it's just pretty clear from his posture that he's running directly into that water. Woo! Oh. Hmm. <laughs> if you select it, you can send it to the back. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Hey! Okay. So... That's 30. I'm just gonna dash... 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. I'm gonna get here. Okay. That's my turn. Alright. Um. Next is the zombies. Uh, am I not next? Oh, I'm sorry, did I? Yeah, I missed you, sorry. Okay. Uh, D60, 70, 80, 90. Okay. Alright. So, I, oh, holy god, what happened? No, roll 20, don't disappear. No, no. 
Thanks. We can't have everything break tonight. No, please. Please, something not break. I would appreciate it. We find new it. ways to disappoint to you. <laughs> All right, I think I think it's going to be fine. Question mark? You will join the game shortly. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, enjoy this calming music. <laughs> oh god, I fucking hate old music. Is there anything more enraging than music? Mm, probably uh, not. I, I feel like I, old I, music has gotten worse over the years, too. It has, but somehow phone quality has stayed the same crappy. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I was so When I worked at Kohl's, I was once on hold with Kohl's. Because <laughs> I had to call, like, man, like corporate yeah. for 56 minutes. And it was the same 30-second loop. Uh... Are you still there, Carter? Hold on. Am am I am I here? Can you yes, hear me? Yeah. Yep. Yes, we can okay. hear you. Um. All right. My phone was acting weird for a second because mm -hmm. everything just doesn't love me. But that's okay. I'm used to it. Uh, so. Aw. That actually genuinely made me feel better. Aw, <laughs> yay! Uh, uh, Everybody wins. We realize friendship's more important. Uh, by my count, that's 90 feet from where I was standing, okay. uh, so move, when you, when bonus you step, action dash. When oh, you yeah, step, go ahead. When you step into the knee-deep water, you take five acid damage. Oh, not uh, water! Not water! Uh, that's exactly what Zeodor is screaming as he's going across. <laughs> ah, oh, not water! Not water! As you continue, you take another five acid damage. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I'm committed to this. All right. You take another three acid damage on the third square. You take another four on the fourth square. Okay. And four more on the <laughs> last square. Wait, how many squares were there? I thought it was only four squares. Um, one, two, two three, four. four. Eh, it's... Four. Yeah, they like, didn't really draw one, the squares three, very clearly. Three, there, four, there, like, yeah, there are three plus two half squares, so I guess that's four. So the last one. <laughs> it, ignore the last one. Okay. Alright, that's my turn. So <laughs> you see Zyrdor sprint across, like lifting his knees high and screaming, That's not water, that's not water! But he keeps running. <laughs> Shit. And you see steam to rise up from his uh, lower half. Does, does he run out the other side with no pants? <laughs> More or less. <laughs> All right. Uh, the zombies. Soon I will make myself metal pants, and then I won't have to worry about this. Doesn't acid eat metal? I mean, the type of acid, PVC the type pants. Of metal. <laughs> the first zombie crit. Shit! On who? Me? Yep. Eight bludgeoning oh. damage. Alright. The next cool. one got a 18 to hit. Uh, yeah, I have AC 12 right now, so... Okay. Um, that's four damage. Alright. Um, this one will move up and attack for 17. For uh, yeah. Five damage. Mm -hmm. And this one will move up and attack uh, nine. Wow! You missed one! This one's gonna shamble after Jack. <laughs> and natural one. Oh, very. Shit. Uh, so I'm trying to find rules for Overrun, which is in the DMG somewhere, but I can't freaking find it. Uh, overrun? It is kind of like shove, but you do it as part of your movement and it takes your action or your bonus action. Like, I can I can find the text, but I can't find it in the rulebook. 272. I don't, I don't have the page, so. Oh, okay. 272, 272 the dungeon map. Right? 
So okay. So uh, overrun. When a creature tries to move through a hostile creature's space, the mover can try to force its way through by overrunning the hostile creature. As an action or a bonus action, the mover makes a strength athletics check against, uh, contested by the hostile creature's strength athletics check. The creature attempting the overrun has advantage on this check if it is larger than the hostile creature or disadvantage okay. if it's smaller. If the mover wins the contest, it can move through the hostile creature's space once this turn. Okay, so... I will allow it. I'm going to take the disengage action first to go around. Can I kind of squeeze through that guy? And the... Uh, between the guy and the pillar? I don't think so. Fuck. Fuck. Everything I have decided to do... Overrun that guy, and then overrun the other guy with your bonus action. Uh, Yes, and then I'm stuck here. Yes. And I can't get past that. So, like, this is just bad. Uh, Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Why did I... Um... Uh... Uh, I don't have anything. I I'm gonna die here. <laughs> I actually have no options. Even even I can stop being a horse is a bonus action, and then I can move and be next to this guy. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Taking two attacks of opportunity on the way out. And then I'm still stuck behind two mummies. I should have just left. I I had this grand idea where like Jack was going to hop on and thunder wave things out of the way and we were going to run away to safety. Uh, <laughs> we were going to run away together. <laughs> to be fair, that's a badass mental yeah, image. Yeah, I love the oh, idea of it. It's just but, like the turn but order. Kind of I have more than just wasted my last turn. I have put myself in a situation where I can't get out now. Because I could have used my last turn to actually do something productive, and instead I used my last turn to get myself fucking stuck. And I don't know what to do. Can you not use one action to overrun these two, and then... And then I am stuck here. It is one action or bonus action per target. And you'd okay. have to move through two. But that still gets you closer out. I'll, I'll I, I can guys. do the exact same thing by taking my action to disengage and being just ill fairy and just walking. Okay, then get there. I'm not going to fucking leave you behind. I, I don't think you're going to have a choice. <laughs> Action to disengage, or you know what? Fuck it. I'm not. I'm. I'm going to turn back into Ill Fairy. I'm going to move here as a horse, mm-hmm. and then I'm going to turn back to Ill Fairy next to this zombie. So, so I've you, used five of my thirty. Is it just a normal move or a disengage? It is just a normal move. So I will provoke what? Oh, I shit. That doesn't actually change anything, does it? Never mind. I turned back to Ill Fairy next to this zombie. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. It is going to be just a regular move. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Third. I'm trying to. Oops. 30. 30. No, 25. Okay. So you'll take an attack of up from each of them. Hmm? I oh yeah 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 from three of them right. You all you were adjacent to all four of them. Oh, but when you've downside, yeah. Okay, sure. I see it. Um, all right, attack the first. Um, is a seventeen. No, thank you, ring. <laughs> Attack the second is an 18. Fuck. All right. Or eight. Oh. Um, bludgeoning. Okay. 
attack the third is a crit. Oh! Hooray! Or um uh, nine damage. Nine bludgeoning jam. Oh, thank God. Okay. Um, well, now that I've destroyed myself, I'm going to use my bonus action to heal myself with my Balm of the Summer Court. Wasn't that Did a bonus we... action to turn back to yourself? Fuck, I think it is. Hold on, let me double check. Or as a bonus action. Yep, you're right. Oh, God, I'm just going to die. I'm just going to die here. Um, it's fine. Do you want me to try to save you? You can't. Uh, what can you do? I don't know. I can fucking thunder wave some of these guys out of the way, and then next turn you can run. I, I'm going to fall unconscious before then, but I'm, I'm still, I still have my action. That's why I didn't disengage. I'm going to use the Staff of the Ancients, and I'm going to Burning Hands... Uh... I'll just do fire. Fuck it. Um, and the cone is right in front of Jack. Uh, I'll, I'll freehand a... Sure. It's this cone. Cool. Um, so they need to make... I believe dexterity saving throws. Right. The... Yep, dexterity saving throw. DC 14. Start with this mummy. Um, Maybe they're vulnerable to fire. That'd be cool. A 13. Fail. The other mummy got an 8. Fail. And the zombie got a 16. Alright, well, the zombie gets it. With a minus 2 dex. <laughs> wow. Like that. Sometimes it do be like that. Six damage to those that made it. Okay. That was a garbage the zombie. Maybe or, I can get him first. Oh, the zombie takes yeah. half of that. Yeah. Right. Yep. Oh god, what was that? Uh, not minus minus three. Just minus three. I changed his health from the amount he had to negative negative, negative three. <laughs> Been there, done that. Um, the others take fire damage. Ah, does not seem to fully affect them. Of course, it doesn't. Some you know what? Fuck it. Let's just uh, wraps catch on fire and burn away, and you just see like decaying f flesh underneath. There's there's my last five feet of movement. All right, Jack. Fuck. Much as I don't like Ill Fairy, <laughs> I can't just leave him to die. He'll be fine. So I'm gonna take a step back, take two attacks of opportunity. Okay. Um, from the mummy and the zombie. Yep. So the mummy is gonna stab at you with a spear. Um. That's a 24 to hit. Yep. Yeah, I'll take it. Right. Uh, for six piercing damage. Okay. And the zombie takes a slam at you. That's a 16 to hit. Miss. Okay. Now Hold on, here. before you thunder wave, you're planning on thunder waving, right? Yes. Are those two mummies... This is a DM question. Are those two mummies going to put, be pushed in the hallway or into the wall that they're next to? Um, a push from where Jack is right now um, would... Uh, like this one would 
go like this. This one would go like this, I guess. And that last one would probably stay where it is. Yeah. Yeah. Does it take extra damage if I knock it into a wall? No. no I thought it did for some reason. I don't there know what game does that, but I've heard other people say that about... Uh, specifically Gloomhaven. Um, yeah. And I know it doesn't do it in Gloomhaven, and it doesn't do it, do it in D&D. So I'm not sure. It does it in Gloomhaven on one card. Uh, uh, and okay. there are there are higher level uh, spells in D&D that do that. Okay. That was a surface of the game sense. where that's like a base mechanic. Okay. I'm going to Thunder Wave these guys. They can all give me their save that they're going to make. Thanks. Uh, I think it was fun. Con. It's con. It's con. Sorry, sorry. Uh, all right. So I'm casting this as second level. Yep. Um, yeah, they all need to make their con save. All right. Zombie closest to you is going to roll con. He got a nine. Yeah. The next uh, um, mummy got a, also got a nine. Nice. And the zombie got a 14. That makes, that makes it. But shit, we'll take it. All right. So we'll push. Um, like we said, there's not really anywhere for that other one to go, but that one will fall down there. And then roll damage. Isn't it 10 feet? It's 10 feet. Oh, 10. Cool. Yes, 10 feet. Yeah, I always get the numbers mixed up because I know it's it's a 15-foot cube and then a 10-foot push. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, 17 damage. Nice. And that's... Uh, Force damage. Thunder. Four. Thunder damage, sorry. Thunder. And then half for the other one, which is eight. Okay. So okay. the mummies will take 16, you said? Uh, 17. 17? Um, okay, so this one will uh, die. Thank goodness. And this one will take 17 damage. <sighs> Shit. And the zombie will take eight. Okay, question. I've got 25 points of movement left, or 25 feet of movement left. Yeah. And I can display of heroism as a bonus action. Uh huh. Can I step back, grab Il Fairy, and gra drag him 20 feet? That is exactly how it works, actually. But um, when do you regain use of that? Uh, some kind of rest, I think, which we took. Let's see. If it's a short rest, we're good to go. But if it's a long rest, we're screwed. Used it. I feel like you'd have more than one use of it, right? I don't know. I don't see it saying it doesn't say. Any... It doesn't say I have to wait, period. Okay, one sec. Um, so you can have no more than two allies this way per turn. Yeah, let me look at the original. Right. Was a daily action. So I'm going to say that it's a long rest. Okay. Oh. Okay. So That's unfortunate. Ask. Yeah, this one just says you can only do it once a turn. Yeah. Um. One point is actually. Action, you can assist an ally who is imperiled. You can lift an ally to their feet if they're prone. If you have any movement left for the turn, you can drag an ally with you until the start of your next turn. Okay. Okay. Um, so I guess I don't even say that. Oh, well, that's just on the once it gets better at a later thing. Um, because I think per normal rules you can drag a player like half speed normally. Yeah, and I'm trying to think kind of, of what um how it compares to other um things that you guys get from your classes or from your teams. Um, 
On a short Which... rest, I can give someone pseudo advantage. Yeah, I'm. Th I'm thinking a short rest seems fair. Um, okay. And you have had a short rest since you last used it. Cool. Yep. So... Then I'm gonna step in here, grab Il Fairy, say, "Come on, you fucking asshole," and grab him by the collar. And... Right. That's that's how you convince me to do it. One, Fuck. Two, three, four. I'll take two attacks of opportunity. He'll take zero because I'm dragging him. All right. Uh, I mean, I can provoke them, and they have disadvantage. I mean, you don't provoke because you're not moving. Oh, I'm not the first right. one moving, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to take that hit die, though. I get a yeah. whopping. Can um, I only spend one? Yeah. Okay, well, I get. Alright, Jack, the one hit point at two zombie <laughs> is going to take a swing at you. 12 AC. No. And the mummy takes a stab at you with a spear. Um, 18 AC. I'll uh, shield with my last spell slot. Okay. Fuck. Uh, you can't. You already cast a spell this turn. That's right. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so I have to take that one. Then you take 11 piercing damage. Okay, I'm still on my feet. Oh. Alright, that's the round. Yep. Alright. The ooze. Make sure you move the fairy up with me, bud. Oh, I'm sorry. Figured he'd move himself. The water continues to spread. Not water! Uh, How much right do you have? Enough. But I'm not going to be able to run through this and survive. So I'm going to have to run back towards you guys. Yeah, run back towards us and hopefully this is a way out. I don't think it is. I think we well, have to run... Well, then we're fucked because we have to go through the I know, I'm aware. <laughs> room of death. I'll uncover Mina in a moment. Yep. You're gonna get wiped out if you run through this too. I know. I yep. no. Yeah, I think y'all need to go through the wind hallway. Yep. And hope it connects to something. I got one more thunder wave. Okay. That's that. And then we'll have some warning inches of water. I'm already going to take damage just getting out of here. Yep. Mina, Mina. <laughs> there I am. All right. So, God, shit. Aww. Aww. <laughs> He's cute. Okay. Um, <laughs> mummies. Shamble, shamble, shamble. Stab, stab, stab. Oh. Miss, Stop miss, that. miss. Mummy, no mummy. Yay, yay, yay. Mina, Mina, Mina. I have no time. Yeah, I know. Okay! Get out of that fucking acid. It's no water, it's no water, it's no water! 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. You'll take two and then six acid from the two that you had to walk through. Okay. Yeesh. Um, that's your turn? Yep. All right, Zeodore. Uh -oh. oh, no, actually, sorry. Uh, I'm going to second wind. Oh, good plan. 
Oh, thank God. Okay, so that's plus. I will take it. Alright. <laughs> I'm ending two points ahead of where I started this round. <laughs> Good. Alright. Zedor. So the thing I may have not mentioned is that uh, Zedor at hit points. Uh, cut out there. Zedor has how many hit points? Uh, four. <laughs> and I just disappeared. Shit! So, I'm going to, to drink a potion. Yep. I don't know where you went. What'd you do to yourself? I don't know! I don't know! I don't understand. Shit. I don't understand anything that's happening, to be honest You're not- with you. Uh, he's not even on the initiative tracker. He yeah, got you deleted. deleted. He got up! He got up! He got up! He's safe! <laughs> so good. Um... Okay, no, I drink a potion. Uh, luckily, I did roll max on my potion, so I gained 10 hit points. Okay. Okay. You only gotta get through, what, two squares of acid? Uh, yeah, I have... It, it'll be okay. It'll, it'll, be, it'll be fine. Um, I do need a, a token back, though. I don't yeah, know what happens. On it. You cannot die in here. It's... Why not? God, you can! I just don't want you to! I mean, in my Shit. opinion, this is the best place to die. I... I don't think I'm going to. I okay. do not think that Zeodor is going to die. We'll see if I'm wrong, but I do uh, not think that Zeodor is going to die here. You were here, I believe? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think it was here. There, somewhere in that zone. Yeah, um, you were right there, because you were right on the edge. Okay. Five, Five or ten. ten feet of movement. Four points of damage. Okay. Uh, Fifteen, twenty. Twenty feet of movement. Four points of damage. <sighs> Fucking run. Okay. Uh. 25. You don't take damage in that, man. Go. Oh, yeah. Unless you're... Unless you fall down into it, you're fine on these squares. Okay. Carter? Uh-oh. We're losing him in real life, too. Carter? Oh, no! <laughs> oh, I also didn't put his initiative back on here. What was he? 12? That's... Uh, uh yes. no, he was, uh, 13. No, oh, no, you're 12, right. Because I was 14, and if a 13 came between us, we were gonna kill it first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Carter? Oh, Carter's typing in roll 20. Uh-oh. Uh, my phone His died. His phone died. <laughs> <laughs> of course! Damn it, Carter! <laughs> um... Can we just assume we'll, he runs? We'll hear back from Zeodor later. Okay. Um, let's just hop over and see what these zombies are doing. Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> we'll shamble, shamble. God damn it. All right, he, it has disadvantage against me. Okay. Uh, so the... So... 13 and a 15. So, 16 to hit? Yes. Alright. Um, other zombies are gonna shamble shamble. 1, 2, 3, 4. Those are some fast zombies! That, that was one move. It's four yeah! Moves. Oh, oh, it's only four. Okay, I thought they were... I thought he was continuing to Two. move, that's all. He's dashing. Um, yeah, you're safe from damage there, Carter. Um, we're just gonna fade out on Zeodor for now, and we'll check back <laughs> in with him later. Um, rest of zombies. I don't know if he can hear us, actually, now that I think about it. 
I just put it in chat. All right. So zombie horde coming after you guys, like you do. Um, El Fairy. Oh yay. Um. Uh, as a bonus action, I am going to heal myself. Oops. For a lot of hit points. I hope. Yes. It was. <laughs> okay. Uh, it was. I heal myself for 13, and I get three temporaries. So those three will overwrite the two that oops, Jack gave me. And I heal 13, so I go to 16. Which is not a great amount, but it's better than nothing. And then... Okay, my dispel magic is... Oh, shit. Hold on. I should have... I meant to ask this a while ago. Yeah, there we go. I still had my detect magic up before I took these attacks. Did I see a spell no, no, effect no, in place? It's because Carter left. You saw a lot I of mean, spell did, effects, in fact. Did I see place. a new spell effect come up when these animated? Um, You probably would have seen something magical arching from the uh, Seal of Nem to the um, zombies. Um, is there still magic? Oh, okay, let me roll my concentration check. Uh, how many times? Was it like four times, right? That I've taken damage? Something like that. Uh, pass, pass. Pass, natural one. Super. Alright, cool. Never mind. Uh, I was gonna say, was the magic still emanating from that at all? Um... I can do something that might pay off big time, or we can just go. Let's fucking go. Uh, Alright. But then, uh, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Because I was going to see if I could dispel them. But, it probably wouldn't work. Um... I have that. How damaged does that mummy look, or that zombie? Um, they haven't been hit that much, I don't think. Okay, I didn't think so. Uh, I could take two attacks. Yeah, I'm gonna dash. Three, four, five, six. So I'll provoke from those two. Uh, okay. and they have disadvantage on me. Because it's until the start of his next turn. Okay. Um, the um, mummy got a 18 to hit. Uh, yeah, that hits. Okay, so that's um, 9 piercing damage for the spear. Okay. 9 damage. Cool. And the zombie... Oh, well, didn't get a crit. Um, it only got a 70 to hit. Seven, 70, you 17. said? 17. <laughs> <laughs> that misses. All right. Thanks, Ring. Um, should I turn into a horse now? Now seems like a good time to turn into a horse, because that's 60 feet of movement per round. And, it's like, I'm not... Wind hallway. Stuff. It's. I'm trying to make sure that everyone can get out safely. Yeah, but if the wind hallway is still active, we need you to use wind magic on it. Oh fuck, you're right. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. five. I cross the threshold of the wind thingy. All right. Six. Okay. Stop there. Um. <laughs> I think you're about to get stabbed. Oh no, I am. Mm -hmm. I can see a mummy peeking out. <laughs> um. Oh, I guess it just makes an attack. 
19 versus AC. Technically. Uh, 19 versus AC. Damn it, yeah. Uh. All right. Mummy. Well, don't roll too high. Steps out of an alcove and stabs at you for five damage, piercing damage. Oh boy. You want to know what's great about this situation? I'm out of everything. I used my action to dash, and I used my bonus action to already heal myself. I'm out of healing completely, except for potions. So, uh, cool. I'm next to mummies. I mean, potions that get are to go before me. They work for Zeodor. <laughs> Just pot tanking the trap. It's fine. Yeah, except I don't have another turn. I'm going to get attacked by mummies before my turn comes up. That so. I can help you less with. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm done. Okay. Can you see uh, any more down the hallway? Yes, please tell oh, me he yes. can see a corner. Sorry, I forgot about that. Oh, thank God. Oh, we're going to live. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. I legit did not think they were going to connect. I thought we were fucked. <laughs> oh, I, I was fairly certain they did. It was just the whole... If, if they didn't connect, I was going to be like, this is the... I fucking... Fuck whoever made this. <laughs> yes, it's realistic. No, it's not fun. <laughs> it was just a collapsed corner. Just yeah, exactly. That's 100% what I thought it was going to be. 100%. Right. My turn? Yep. Yeah. Run. Run. One, two... Three, four, five, oh, wait, six. Whatever. Doesn't matter now. Seven, eight, nine, or nine, eight, nine, oh. ten. Well, twelve. What? You guys would have thought thought of it. Um, the the fire trap would have been on, but you guys had already. It would have. Oh, yeah, I would have popped it on the way over. Yeah. With what? The fire trap would have no, been back actually, on because you guys had taken um, those time to cast 30 spells. Minutes. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, if that was the case, I would have had to use my action to Can disable it. Can I try it. a potion as a bonus action? Yes. It's fine. I forgot about it. You guys are dealing with enough. <laughs> well, they actually would have preferred putting out that trap instead of it being stabbed by a mummy. We've established that. Cool. I'm but that's just a, me. I'm chugging a potion of healing. Do it. Better than nothing. Six hit points. Mm -hmm. You have three? Yeah. I bought like six when we were in town. I have zero. How many health did I just have? 17. Plus six. All right. Okay, that's me. See, now I only have two of them that I'm going to drink on my next turn. <laughs> um, oh my but where's the lie, though? The second wind, short rest or long rest? Yeah, I'm burned out of action surge. I'm burned out of second wind. Same. I was just happy to be like ahead of. The We're just sprinting past these guys. We're not. Oh yeah, no, I'm not fighting shit. Let them get dissolved in acid. Yeah. That ain't my problem. I think once he gets to the bridge, he'll be okay. Assuming the yeah, bridge will flow down into the 
Yeah. Um, of note, the walls are up and the, um, like, the, th the, the thing is reset. On Zeodor? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, so he's still dead. Okay. No, he no, just no. has to touch the white thing. No, he just has to oh, wait, touch the white crystal, because he should still be right there next to it, right? Yes. All right. I mean, Mummies. That's, that's the idea. We'll see. Mummies. Either um, that, or this is going to be a TPK. Yeah. Oh, it won't be a TPK. Me and I'll get out just fine. The rest yeah. of you motherfuckers might sink to the bottom of the bayou. Well, I think I'm going to die before I get to put out this wind trap, whatever 23, it is. Um, to hit all fairy. Yeah, you got it. Oh. Mm, wow. Yeah, you guys probably would have seen it, because you were here. I don't know. Seen what? Give me a perception check for it, but for it is it the yellow thing. Yeah. Oh, you already saw that. I knew team. it. I I okay. saw it before. Yeah, we like, know. It was anyway, um, fairy mummy attack you. Um, yeah, it hit me. Eight damage. I'm unconscious. Okay. Um, Why do I have a failure and a death or? or why do I have a failure and a success already? From what? the room with the meatballs? It should reset. Oh, though. I. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, Why didn't it reset since then? Yeah. Oh, they don't reset until. Yeah, until long rest. I thought it reset when you were brought back up. It resets when you pop back up. Does it? Yes, absolutely it does. Oh. oh. Maybe. Because it, it, it does, I already have a success as well. It did reset until long rest. That was my remembering of things, but I can be wrong. I've been known to be wrong. The number is of both is reset zero when you gain hit points or become stable. Oh, well, there you go. Then okay. It's just them. weird and stuck around. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it, it would be not... weird if my success has stayed too. Right. Or it's just not coded. Um, oh yeah, I guess this guy. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Why not? Okay. Um, Mina. Yep. Here we go. I think my going to be an edit. Okay, stop there. 25. Um, Where the fuck did this one come from? He ran up behind me. He's been following us. Yeah. 15 versus AC. Nope. All right. Um, uh, 30. Okay, stop. Um, okay. Also, you ran... Was that a disengage to run past this guy? Nope. I'm just taking all of the attacks of opportunity. Alright. Um, that's a 21 to hit. Yep. For 10 damage. Okay. Take it. Alright. Uh, when you step here... Shit. <laughs> um, your foot presses down into the floor a couple inches. Found a trap, guys! <laughs> You're welcome. And... You... Feel some. Um, you feel like some darts hit your neck. That sucks. Um, no save. Wait one sec. Uh, I'm trying to see if you. Range plus eight. Oh, that's right. It's just the hallway that held the holes in it. Yep. Seventeen. 
versus AC. No. Uh, yeah. Hits. Yep. That okay. is my armor class. Uh, I was hoping it was a saving throw. Uh, you take um, five um, kind of damage. Okay. Piercing damage. Okay. And you can see now that there's a outline of this area that has been triggered. Okay. Uh, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Stop. Well, I am stopped. <laughs> Press this down again. Yep. Uh, 26 to hit. Fuck yeah. Finding all the traps for you guys! Uh, 7 piercing damage. I'll take it. Alright. <sighs> okay. Too bad D&D Beyond extension in Twitch doesn't update frequently. Alright. Uh, it, it has updated in like 30 minutes. Zeodor. Okay, so uh, walls are up, uh, bridges are down, the white crystal is next to me? Yep. I grab the white stone. Alright. The walls go down, the bridges go up. Alright. Uh, does does that count as my as an interact with object? Yeah. Sweet. Okay. So then we're just gonna. Uh, I mean the the fuck out. I think we're gonna get there. Um, I want to go to there. Okay. I like that plan. I like okay. that plan where I'm just like not here anymore and yeah. And Fuck the three of them getting. Yep. I'm here. Oh yeah, no, I I saw him. I, yeah, I did yeah. too. That's why I asked about the sword. You am there. Um, like, I also don't know how many actions it's going to take me to get down this hallway. Right. We're going to find out together as a family. Oh fuck! Did fairy go down? Yes. Yes, I told you that. And you can't grab him because short rest. Yeah. But you, you can, can shove a good berry in him. Yes. As an action. Yes. But you'll still have your movement. You can still get 30 feet. And I've disarmed all of the darts. So yeah. you're good. Well, maybe. We don't know how fast they Well, I've that. disarmed two of what I'm assuming is four darts down this hallway. I will be dead before you guys get to me. But I am just killing that shit for you. Too bad I can't have, like, one of those cyanide teeth, but instead of cyanide, it's good berry. Sounds like something Just... you could get Zeodor to work on. <laughs> well, I don't have teeth, so... We could work Sounds like something out. you could get Zeodor to work on. <laughs> I don't want birds with teeth! I don't want birds with teeth either. Not at all. Teeth. Um... <laughs> all right, Ilferi, it's your turn. Here goes. Here comes a natural 20. I feel it. Oh, I'm gonna please, get natural up. 20. Well, it's an 18. You say that well, every time you have to make a check. Huh? This what? time would have been super useful. You, you say that every time you have to make a death saving throw. Yeah, sure. And it'll happen <laughs> one of these times. And then I'll have said I called it. Yeah. It counts. If you call it every time, you call it when it succeeds. All right, Jack. Okay. Action. Shove Goodberry in Elferi's mouth. Okay. I have a hit point. Bonus action. Disengage. You can't bonus action. You're not disengage. a rogue. I am now. Bonus <laughs> <laughs> action and a healing potion. Bonus action. Give him a healing potion. Uh, okay. It, I think it's an action to give someone else the potion, right? No, just, no, just hand it to him. him. Oh, gotcha. Sure. I have oh, yeah, one. That makes sense. I have plenty. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay. Never mind. I'm not giving you shit. I'm just going one, two, three. Okay. Four, um, five, stop. six. You, you stepped on the trap, so. Yeah. Really? Yeah, the, the plate came back up after you got off of it. Oh, the plate came back up, then I'll just fucking jump over it. Okay. I mean, none of you bothered to ask, so. Um, give yeah, me an athletics or 
Um, uh, if it's less than my strength, I don't have to make a check for it. Uh, what is your strength? 14. Um, okay, give me a check. Okay. Is it 10 feet? Um, it would be 15 feet to clear it, I think. It, it has a specified check here. Athletics, you said? 16. Uh, either one. Alright, you clear it. Cool. I'm just gonna die again, guys. Yeah, I was kinda wondering about that, honestly. Because the mummies are going next. Like, that, that's, that is where my problem was. I got hit with the attack of opportunity after I'd used all my actions. And then his turn came up and he killed me. Well, I gave you a chance. I... No, I I thought you had a turn before them, which is what, okay. Sorry. I I did, but I used it on my death saving throw. Is that your turn, Jack? Yes, that's all I can do. All right. Fucking a. This is the most harrowing thing I've ever played in Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. I hate this place. <laughs> uh, this place sucks I'm, ass balls. I'm just frustrated because I know I'm going to die and there's nothing I can do about it. I can't come back for you. I have six hit points. No, I, no one should come back for me. <laughs> like, it's just, there's nothing that can be done to stop me from dying here. It's fine. Like I said, this is a pretty good place to die. I... Oh my god. No! Um, I really like the fairy! <laughs> I have a feeling that that death is not going to be the end of things in here for some reason. Yeah. Alright. Um, mummies. Stable fairy. <sighs> yep. They have Come advantage because I'm prone. Yeah. Isn't that cool? All that once. You hear some bird squawks coming from behind you. Hey, maybe they miss all of them. I don't That's know. what I'm saying. All that once. No, it was like a 21. Fuck. Um, Listen, my other DM like two weeks ago rolled 14 rolls below five in a row. Uh, I At this point, I probably have two de failed death saving throws, right? You're going to take Shit. nine damage... Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll fade to black on a fairy. Shit. I, yeah, I, I get stabbed two times after I go unconscious at a minimum. Um, no, not necessarily. Look, Mina, I've got a revenge thing I'm working on. If Jack dies, can I come back as a revenant? Mina, <laughs> it's your turn. Okay. Um. I don't care if I have to look like Freddy Krueger or something. I'll do it. I mean, there's I'm going lots to of... five. I'm gonna go five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and then try to jump ten feet. Stop. Shit. Fuck this place. Um, that's a sixteen to hit. Nope. Okay. Uh, and then you're going to jump from there? I jump 10 feet from there. Okay. Cool. Give me a, a athletics or acrobatics. Oh, fucking thank God. Um, uh, it's a modified 20. Okay. You land here. Okay. You're going to hate me. <laughs> Did I jump right on it? <laughs> No, you jumped into more fucking mummies. Oh, I don't care! I don't give a shit about the mummies! Uh, well, 20's not letting me click on things again, because I... No mummies, cool. Highlighted something... Invisible mummies! <laughs> They're the scariest. Does that. Shit. Come on, come on, you stupid piece of shit. Also, James, nice. It took a bit. <laughs> what happened? Oh, it's a nice touch, though. I like it. Shit. I don't know what he. I don't know. He He's gone black and white. Video. Oh. 
What the shit? Hold on, I think I can improve this a little bit more. Because I'm not doing anything. Where did my... Okay, there's my library. Wow. Alright. Mommy. Attack. Yep. Um, misses. Fuck yes. Okay. Is that your turn? That's as far as I can get. All right. Wait. Nope. That was just movement. I can dash. So it would be... I guess I'm just What going. was the yellow over here? Yeah. Yellow's... Is that the crushing? It, yeah, it's the, the crushing Fuck. gravity, because that's the one that Ilferi turned off by turning into an ape and smashing it with a rock. That's why he right. was an ape when we got to this hallway. Right. So, right. Throw a rock at it. There's got to be rubble also, around here. It took a lot of rock. Also, you did step on this trap. Fuck! I was like, I'm either going to clear it or I'm going to jump right on top of it. it Fuck! Can't. One, two, four damage. She's at two. Okay. Okay. Wait. Shit. Sh Shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Play the two she got back from second win a few turns ago. I need to run away, but if I run away, I will provoke an attack of opportunity. But if I stay here, he will absolutely hit me on my next turn. Oh shit, is it backwards? No. Oh, good. <laughs> it just flips it for you, I guess. I'm running. Yeah, in Discord it does. Five, ten. So, go ahead and take, make an attack of opportunity. If he hits me, I fall unconscious where I'm at. Unless it's a reaction when I walk by him, and not a prepared action when I walk by him. In which case, he wouldn't have an attack of opportunity, and I could run. I think he's already attacked you once this turn, so... Sweet! Okay. <laughs> Oops. 5, 10, 15... Fuck it. 20. Alright, strength saving throw. Uh... 5, I know, right? Uh, my... <laughs> Her strength is eight. She rolled a nineteen. But but I have I have uh, oh, plus two. So plus yeah plus two. I have, yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's actually a twenty-two. <laughs> you make it. Okay. Uh, that was twenty. Twenty-five thirty, I guess. And I gotta hope to God that I. Don't get crushed on my next turn. Oh. <sighs> Shit. Okay. Is that it? Yep, that's it. There's right. also some fire coming up too. I know. I'm hoping that I will take one fire damage because... You don't have any way to produce fire? You can throw a torch at it or something? I can hellish rebuke it once it hits me. <laughs> and that's about it. Well, but just, if it hits me... Well, then just wait for me to get there. But I also have resistance. Like... Just wait right I here will for me wait, to get there. I will wait for Jack. <laughs> Alright. Um, Jack, I'm all fucked up! Zeodor, you run down a hallway for a bit. Okay, cool. I, that, that's exactly what I was about to ask. Was like, yep. I, I have 90 feet of movement. How far down this hallway do I get? Um. Well, you don't see the end. And when you look behind you, you still see where you started. Yeah, I'm not yep. looking behind me. Okay. Wait, that's, that's a funny thing you said. I'm not looking behind me. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of hope this works. I don't know. All right. Like, what am I going to do? Go back? All right. Uh, zombie <laughs> shambling is probably irrelevant. Um, yeah. I don't think they can make it to I think anyone. they die in the acid. Who says that they can be hurt by acid? Um, I do. Me. 
Bill Ferry is uh, faded Dead. to black. Um, Jack? Okay. Is it more advantageous for me to disengage or chug a healing potion? I think it's more... No, I can't disengage his bonus action. Correct. You cannot. Mm. Then I'm going to chug a healing potion. Fuck. Okay. It's 28. Okay. I'm going to jump over this first one. Okay. Shut up. Uh, 13. All right. Okay. Um, you. Clip it with your heel as you land on the other side, so it does go off. Okay. Um, but it's only a 14 to hit. Cool. And then I still got 15, 20. Take like an attack. It'll take an attack of op. If you yeah. move away. 25. Yeah. Um, that's a 23 to hit for 6 damage. Cool. Oh shit, you're not doing too bad. I have potions. Alright, 25. 30. 5. 10. Jump over. Okay, give me a check. check. Uh, that's going to be 15. Alright, you're good. But you'll take the attack about from... The yeah. Times. Yeah. That yet. Uh, 13 to hit. Nope. Alright, so that's been 20 of my second movement. So, 25, 30. Strength right. save? Yep. Nineteen. You fall prone and take oh, six God. damage. On a 19? Yes. Shit. Shit. Mina got an 18. No, I got, so a, got a 22, 22. after my bonfire. Oh, right. So it must be 20. How much damage? Uh, six. <sighs> Fuck. And you're prone. Yes. I heard you. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Is that your turn? That's all I can do. All right. Here, water's whooshing behind you, but I think they're mostly irrelevant at this time. Zombies come shambling down after you. Um, we're not going to bother. I want to watch the zombies get fucking crushed. Mina. All right. I'm trying to move. Um, go ahead and just give me a check at the start of your turn. I'm gonna fall prone because there's no fucking way I do this twice in a row with my strength. Nope, that's a 15. Alright. You're gonna fall prone. And, and go unconscious. Any amount of damage. If it's one, I'm fine. It's, uh, four. Yep, I am unconscious. Okay. Um, Zeodor, you keep running. Uh, I'm going to cuss at Apet in Ancient, because apparently I can now, so fuck it. <laughs> Seems fair. And, yeah. All right. Um, all right, Jack. So do I need to give you a strength save? Yeah. I failed that. Alright, you'll take uh, five damage. Okay. I think there is something for dragging allies, isn't there? Even if they're... Yeah. Basically you grapple. Thing. Ah. Okay. Yeah, and it's half movement. I'm gonna chug my last healing potion. <laughs> and it fucks me. 
I'm gonna get four hit points. Oof. Ones. And I'm stuck prone, right? No, you can move. Okay. You move at half speed. Okay. So one attack of opportunity. Um wow. That was a one and a seven. Thank God. Cool. Two, three. Mm -hmm. So if I grab Mina and try to move her while I'm prone, I can move a fourth of my movement? Yeah. Yeah. So one. Yeah. yeah. You could drag me one space, which cool. would get you out, and it would get me yeah. close cool. to out. <laughs> I will pull her over there and then just, fuck. <sighs> That's my turn. All right. Um, Mina? Yep. Ah, shit. Come on. Hey, it's a success. All right. Or do I auto fail in the. No, Pressure. that's fine. Okay. All right. I'm not fucking dead yet. Still running. Is there anything you wanted to do differently? I mean, if, because it's 10 o'clock, for the sake of, of time, is there actually anything I can do, or am I stuck in this hallway? No, do you have to turn around and walk backwards? <laughs> there, there will be a resolution. Uh, okay, but is, like... You, I, you don't I'm, need to do anything different. Cool. All right. The, yeah. I like. I. I'm into for the, the sake of brevity, but it's late. Yeah. yeah. Um. Jack. Cool. I'm gonna pull Mina out. Yep. Awesome. Slap a good berry in her mouth. <laughs> Woo! Okay. I'm at one. I have like one more of those. Yep. Uh. Stand up. Yep. So that was ten. And then 15. Yeah, so I have five left. Shoot the fire rune. Yep. Yep. And then move five. All right. Seems good. All right. Um, Mina. Okay. The mummies don't seem to be coming past the crushing. Trap. Sure. Um, so I'm pretty sure I have three good berries. Yes, you those, have three. I pop those immediately. So I now have four whole hit points and can't possibly eat anything else. Um, and we, this section is not on fire, so five. Ten. Oh, but you are prone. At the moment. Oh, right. So Stand I get up. You can still move 45. Right. Or actually get yourself in a position an, where yeah, I will. you can sprint. So, out. an action to eat a good berry? Is it an action or a bonus? I assume it's an it was a eat one. Oh. Uh, yeah. But, well, let me check. Yeah. I think uh, it is an action. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't specify in here, but it's it's kind of like a magic item. So can I pop all three as one, or do I can I only take one? Um, I never understood why you couldn't, and I don't think it's too abusable. I mean, it gets rid of four hit points. <laughs> well, the thing I mean, if a druid does right. it, then I guess you take two actions: one to make them, and then one to get back ten hit points. Right. Is the yeah. most abusable thing. Right. It's a it's a precedent thing, I understand. Yeah. Um I'm I'll allow it. Okay. <laughs> I'll resume. In the this right heroic to moment. Later. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. The the abusable thing about it is that the druid makes forty in the morning and then you have you know, you just have a forty point heal. Yeah. Maybe I'll put a cap of five to be swallowed at once. Sure. Something along those lines. A that handful. Seems reasonable. Yeah, Five. the amount you can fit in your palm. Slash mouth. I grow bigger hands. <laughs> yeah, so I'm next to Jack. That's as far as I can get on this turn. 
Joke. Um, Zidor keeps running down a hallway. He starts to Next see time. the. Um, he can see the approach of the um, the starting room, but it's still like a good ways off. Yeah, I'm gonna try to exit on this side. Okay. Um. Jack. I'm gonna move down here and get set to sprint out on my next turn. Alright. Or actually probably watch Mina sprint out on my next turn. And then get out myself. I mean, you are aw, oh, that is the worst type of ASMR. Um there, there's there is a mummy here that seems to be trying to shake a something off of a, another mummy off of its spear, so it seems rather distracted. <laughs> Right. Um, and there's one. Those are the ones that we literally here. disarmed, right? Did you? Actually, yeah, did we disarm those? I don't know. I, I remember you guys did. talking about doing it, and then you were like, well, we're not sure if that would do anything or it might hurt them. I don't think them. we did, guys. <laughs> I, yeah. I remember El Oh, we still both have the movement to get past it. I, I did take their spears away and, like, okay. I remember down the hall. Just, like, taking the spear and, like, putting it on the ground. Okay, okay. yeah. That seems fair. All right. Um, Mina? Go. Yep. Um, five. Right? Or was that 10? That was 10. 5, 10. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 45, 50. Hang on. I just have to move my screen. 45. Oops. 45, 50, 55, the, the 60. The three um, mummies that were in the alcoves when you first came in yep. um, step out of the alcoves, brandishing. Well, they they act as if they mean to brandish weapons and then look down at their hands and realize they're empty. Right. And then um, start uh, stepping towards you. I have my guns drawn, and I am waiting for everyone to catch up to me. We'll just have them step out for now. Um, Zeodor bursts into the room with the last of his movement, we'll say. Hooray! Welcome back! Now let's get the fuck out! Yeah, let's go! Jack? Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. I'm going to put myself between the mummies and my friends and get ready for some pain next round. Okay. Next round. <laughs> yeah. uh, I could Thunder Wave Mina out of the building. Nope. Um, I was walking by the ziggurat and an unconscious tiefling body came flying out. <laughs> <laughs> I just ragged all physics out the top. <laughs> you just fucking hit the ground hard. <laughs> just a lost stuff from jackass. You just come flying out. Uh, one of them that really up shitty to... mannequin from. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of them steps My up name to the door. Jack's ass. Takes a swing. 12 versus AC. That is a miss, thankfully. Second attack. This all this happens. Uh, 14 versus AC. That is also a miss. I mean, you are uh, now a support animal. You are my support animal right now. Um, this one... He's gonna step forward to Jack. Um... Ooh. Also, a sound under here, isn't it? Um, actually, he's not gonna step. Oh, oh, what happened? Whoa, what happened? Why did everything disappear? Okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, okay. Are you going to focus on me or ignore me because I have the sword? Um.
So it holds up its hand and a black beam of energy shoots out of it. Oh, fuck no! Fuck this! We go to the entrance! Just let us go! Which, which zombie was this? Was this staff, sword, or amulet? Um, or mummy was this? This would have been um, sword. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, this is um, this is staff. Staff. Um, no. He rolled a spell. There's a spell attack modifier. That's just uh, dexterity, usually, right? Yeah. Or intelligence. Oh, it depends on. Uh, yeah. uh, it's charisma. Okay, so that'll be a. Why does it not have Nate spell casting? What kind of of these charisma? I guess the card number two of the components. Why does it not have his spell attack? Because you okay. should let us go. <laughs> um, I think that would be an 18 to hit. Okay, I am using a shield. Okay. Nice. How many of those spell slots do you have left? Uh, zero. zero! That was my last one. Oh, sweet. Um... <laughs> Then the last one is going to scream and his muscles bulge out. Was this one sword? Yeah. No, no, okay. Um and then he's gonna slam at you. Uh for oh uh twenty-two to hit. Does shield last my whole turn? I think yes. so, yes. Yes. It's still the start of your next turn. Yes. You block it? Yep. Alright. And it pumps up your ward again. Buddy! Oh, you... that's right. I get my Mina. ward back. Alright. Go. I go. All right. Um, the staircase does seem to. Yep. You remember it being a long trek going down yep. in, but it's fairly short going back out, and you are outside of the temple now. Zeodor. Go. Like Jack is literally yelling that. Yeah. You don't have to tell me twice. Uh, bonus action disengage. Yep. And then leave. All right. Jack. Disengage and get out. All right. Uh, um. On on the way out, I do want to yell in. I do want to yell at the mummies in ancient. Leave us alone. We're trying to stop the monsters from get them. Um. They actually take. Pause at that. Oh, okay. And stop chasing you. Oh, sweet. Oh, sick. <clears throat> That's all we had to fucking do? I don't speak, Agent! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that that would have worked on the acid. Yeah. No. Okay, yeah. is that where we're ending tonight? <laughs> that is where we will end tonight. With fucking heart palpitations? Shit! Fuck. And thus concludes the Temple of Apex. Does it? No. Is it actually no. over? We'll see. Until next is week. Is there maybe like a little epilogue? Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's, the there's still more to this. I get adventure. home, I open the door, I'm back in the temple. We're like halfway <laughs> through this adventure. The Brendan Fraser mummy is going to pop in and tell you death is only the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we do have, uh, we do have another site to check out in there. Shit.
Yeah. I just don't want to be dead. I don't want you to be dead either. Well, see you guys on Tuesday. We'll, well to be fair, that's the plus on this. Uh, yeah. Also, not Tuesday next week, right? Oh. That's right. Oh, uh, right, because of Ani. Yeah. Uh, so, next sorry, Friday? Uh, Monday? Was it the Friends of Middle Earth? We could Monday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monday or Friday, we'll figure it out. Whichever works for everybody. Oops, let me do that. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, either of those should be good for me, I think. I'll double check. I'm pretty sure I'm fine on either. I think yeah. I can do Monday, but uh, next week I am going to be uh back to to being after 7 30. i've got an evening class again got it okay. cool all right well thanks for tuning in everyone um we'll be back next week stay tuned to our social media and our discord for more information about which day i know things have been a little scattered lately but the whole world is kind of scattered lately yeah no one's got a good schedule with corona yeah. Also, if if Ilfari's uh shield like washes up on the side of the of the swamp, it's going to straight up break Zeodor right now. <laughs> we'll find out next time. Um, shit. All right. Good night, folks. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs>